What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I have a couple of solutions for you. If Elden Ring isn't starting up for you, it's crashing on launch, you have a white screen, a black screen, nothing showing, or you can't get to the main menu, etc, etc. There's multiple fixes in this guide and hopefully you'll find your solution here. Of course, I'm going to go through the obvious of number one, update your Windows and your graphics card driver. Number two, make sure you have a working internet connection. And number three, make sure you meet the minimum requirements for Elden Ring. With the obvious out of the way, what are the other known fixes for the game not starting properly? Well, number one, the most obvious is fire up Steam, locate and right click on Elden Ring, click properties, and on the local files tab, click verify integrity of game files. This will run through all the folders and files on your computer for Elden Ring and make sure that they're all downloaded properly. If something isn't, it'll be updated and patched. Then head across to the general tab and make sure that the launch options are empty. Then what else can we try? And hold start and press R to bring up the run dialog. In here, type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. In this new folder, look for Elden Ring and open it up. Then you'll see a couple of files, right click graphics config and choose open with, then notepad. You may have to double click on it and choose notepad. Anyway, just open it in notepad. In here, you'll look for screen mode. And inside of here, I'll be replacing full screen with border list as such. Borderless. Control S to save, and we can close this. Now you should be able to launch up the game itself. If you're still not able to, inside of Steam, right click Elden Ring, hover over Manage, and click Browse Local Files. In here, open the game folder and locate Elden Ring.exe. Right click this and click Properties. Then head across to the Compatibility tab and make sure that Disable Full Screen Optimizations is ticked. If it's already ticked, try unticking it, clicking Apply, and launching up the game. Either having this on or off may cause issues on your computer. Then the next thing you may want to try is the run this program as an administrator. This way you'll have to launch the game as admin and well, things will hopefully work properly. This will help it step around things like the Windows ransomware protection, other possible firewall issues on your computer, etc. Running this admin usually helps you get around simple issues that could be underlying. If things still aren't working, right click the game, properties, and in the launch options, try hyphen DX11 as such, close it and launch up the game if possible. On top of this, if you're using overlays such as Discord, etc., maybe even performance monitoring ones, try and disable all of the overlays interacting with the program to see if things are working properly then. Finally, if you haven't already, try rebooting your computer and things will maybe fix themselves. If you have any other drives in your computer, you may want to try right clicking the game, clicking properties, and delete local files, click move install folder. This way you can choose a different drive to copy the game across to, and maybe things will work a bit better. I hear that having it on the same drive as Windows may help get rid of other issues that you could be experiencing. But that's really about it for this video. Hopefully I've skipped through most of the BS answers that you'll hear of just, hey, re-download the game entirely, and hopefully you get your issue solved. If you do manage to solve your issue, leave a comment down below if there's anything I may have missed here. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno Techniper here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.